hello everyone welcome to the session so now continuing the previous part where we have seen that how basically we can do the insertion inside a stack based data structure today in this part of the video we will try to understand that if suppose we want to delete any element from the stack data structure how we can do that for that purpose again what you can do is that i'll call one function suppose the function name is pop right so inside that function what we will try to do is that first of all we will try to see one thing which we called as stack underflow condition again if the value of that top variable that we are defining is equal equal to minus 1 it simply indicates that your stack is empty can i say your stack is empty means you are not having any as such element present inside the stack based data structure so at that point of time when the value of the top is equal to minus 1 it simply print that oh this is the condition of something which we called as a stack underflow right and if that is a kind of a condition which is happening so how you can delete any element inside from the stack right so if there is a already a empty stack at that point of time the stack underflow condition will definitely happen in otherwise case what we can do is that we can take the data which is present at the top end right and after that we can simply decrement the value of the top by minus 1 right and we can simply return the data that's why if you will observe while doing the implementation that i will show you you will always get the deleted element because internally we have or the developers have implemented the pop function in such a way that it will always return to you the data that is deleted right so this is the internal i would say intuition or the pseudo code you can say of the pop operation inside a stack based data structure now again if i will talk about the time complexity aspect for the same you can clearly observe here what is the time complexity of this if condition nothing it's a constant thing in else part also what we are trying to do we are just trying to capture the data which is present at the top end and then we are just simply trying to subtract the top value and then we can simply return the data here so in a way am i using any kind of a loop here no am i using any kind of a iterations here no am i using any kind of recursion here no so what i want to say here is that that the time complexity of this particular thing will be something which you can say is again a constant task is again a constant task so one thing which you need to remember is that that whenever we are talking about a stack based data structure we usually go for two operations one is simply push that we have seen in our previous part of the video and another one is pop we just have seen in this video in both of these operations if someone is talking to you that what is the overall time complexity requirement for the uh, push and pop inside the inside the stack based data structure so your answer should be that it should be equals to big o of 1 or you can say that it is a constant time complexity it is a constant time complexity right so that is the one of the most important thing that everyone should know here now as i told you that whenever we are trying to do the implementation of this data structure that we will do in our upcoming session we will try to do the implementation in python right and in python when we are talking about arrays using arrays implementation then for sure we will try to take the lists and when i am saying using the linked list using the linked list so at that point of time you will observe that we are using something the concept of circular dq so this concept is based on the doubly uh, double ended uh, queue or linked list so with the help of that internally if you will observe this linked list data structure is working and in the list this array data structure is working so using python we will try to see that how we can implement the stack data structure 
by simply if you will observe in the future sessions what will happen is that in a list we all know that there is an operation of append where we will try to append the data towards the right side so what will happen automatically we will try to initialize the list we will try to append the data using this append function and when i want to pop the, pop the data automatically you can call the function called as pop so internal implementation of pop is something that we have discussed in this session similarly when you will create your uh, linked list using this, this, this circular dq there is a separate python documentation for that if you want i would prefer everyone that before coming to the next upcoming video you can just go and see the documentation of the circular dq as well again there after creation of this you will see that we are directly calling the append function to insert or to push the data so what i am saying is that that whatsoever things we have studied for push operation in our uh, theoretical classes the all the implementation is done via append and whatsoever things we have studied for the pop all the implementation is done in pop function similarly here also we will be having append and the pop operation so append is something which is you can say is something equals to push and pop is something which is something which is equals to pop only so here we will be able to delete the data and whatever data is deleted that value will be printed here there is some other operation in a stack which we called as peak peak what is the meaning of this peak operation here it will try to just give you the printing of the data but deletion will not happen so peak is functionality wise it is similar to pop means it will try to return the topmost data but deletion will not happen so deletion will or you can say deletion of data not happened whenever you are calling a peak operation fine so this is the another operation that you should know uh, usually people got confused between the difference between the peak and the pop operation because in both of these things you will get the same output but functionality wise both of them is different in pop you are actually deleting the data in peak you are not doing that so now in further upcoming video what we will try to do is that whatsoever we have studied so far uh, we have talk about both of the operations push and pop in the stack data structure what we will try to do is that we will try to see the implementation in python using using this uh, stack data structure with the help of arrays as well as with the help of a linked list and after that uh, we will try to move towards the queue based data structure as well and once after completion of both of the of both of the data structures that is stack and the, and the queue we will try to see the interview based questions that are very frequently asked in the companies right so with this i would like to in this particular session hope you will be able to get whatever i want to talk about here right if you still have any sort of doubt do let me know happy learning to all bye bye everyone and i'll see you all in my in, in my next upcoming video